Hey guys, I know you guys are probably getting tired of seeing all this gear, but there's a there's a uh, reason. Uh, what I first want to show you, bought a couple of knives, neck knives, little whistle right there. Um, it's a pretty, it's a pretty sharp knife. I mean, me, I would home it a little bit more. But, um, you know, to do fine-tuning or, or um, cleaning small game or anything like that, that'd be a pretty good little knife. Do some whittling, you know, be a good little neck knife. And I got that one. I bought two of those. And I bought three of these. There we go, guys. This is a little, little knife here. It it's going to need some, um, you know, sharpening. It didn't come sharp, but um, I've got a I got a different type like this, and it came the same way. And I hit it a few times on the whit rock, and it got razor sharp. But it comes also comes with a little. You know, little ferro rod right there. Got stuck to the Velcro here. Some little Velcro, I mean, a little ferro rod. So that's pretty good. I mean, I know if you're new and you're seeing all this, or well, why are you getting all this gear? Um, like I said, this spring, summer, you know, I'm um, I'm gonna start selling at the flea market because my I had neck surgery, and my wife's been griping at me to get into something else because I do tree work. And uh, she don't want me doing it as much. So, you know, I got into selling this. Uh, next thing I got, I've got, let me back up here, four of these. They're 50-pound mini crossbows. And trust me, these are not toys. These, me, the boys have... Um, Aries and Ricky's got one, and my wife's got a 50-pounder. I got an 80-pounder. And me and the boys go hunting with this. You know, uh, rabbits, squirrels, groundhogs, possums, raccoons, whatever. that would kill them. I mean, it, it, uh, that's a sure... I thought, like I said, I thought they were a toy, and I set up a dartboard, put it on the bedroom door, and I got about 20 feet, shot it. It went through the dartboard. Halfway through the door, yeah, my wife was pissed, and it scared me. I'm thinking, oh, shit, I thought it was a toy. These are not toys, guys, not toys. <laughs> but um, I got four of those, and I've got uh, five of the boats for them. Okay, now, my 500th subscriber's coming up, and... Um, I wished I got great I got great subs. I got the best subs out there. I want to thank all you guys. You guys are the best. And I wish I can give everybody something, but um I can't afford it. <laughs> but I'm going to uh, this time I'm going to give two um two two giveaways to two different people um in no random order. I'm going to give one winner this you know this just slides on top of here with an extra pack of boats i mean so you're gonna get one of those and um just to say thank you guys just to say thank you and another one you've seen this this is a, a belgium ditty bag but and you know me i am a fanatic when it comes to snaring tins and and uh fishing kits so you guys whoever gets this is going to be able to make their own fishing and snaring you got this there's a couple of snaring. a couple of these some fishing line uh 10 pound uh what is that 100 i want to say 100 yards Small thing of hooks. Some 
split split shot sinkers some um, trout line some swivels this this and this are to go together so you can make you a mini trout line like if you're across a little creek you know you can tie this to one side add you know one of these every two foot until you get across this creek by you know you tie you tie this onto that I'll, I'll i'll do a little demonstration on a video coming up how to make a simple trout line but that's for that and like i said you got this you got the hook small pack of hooks and line that and this is what i use for my snares it's pitcher frame this is uh 45 pound that's perfect for squirrels rabbits um you know, small game. Then I'm adding in this uh, 100 pound for your larger snares. And you've got, like I said, you, you can put your one fishing tin and a snare tin or however you guys want to do it. And I'm throwing in the bag. So, and one one of my subs are going to win this. And the other one, another sub's going to win this. So if you wanted um, to get into the giveaway... Just um, comment below, hey, sign me up, or hey, I'm in, whatever, and um, I'll sign it up. You know, when I reach 500, I'll draw a name. Uh, it should be this weekend. It may be Monday. I don't know, but I'll let you guys know. Um, just keep track. You know, if I'm busy, just kind of send me a message. Hey, Mike, you're at 500. But uh, I just, this is to you to say thank you to you guys you guys like i said are the great greatest subs out there i mean you're cool you 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 accept me for how i am and who i am and that's cool and that, i really appreciate it the cool comments i get the inspiration the the pats on the backs man I, I i it means a lot to me and i wish i could you know give everybody something but um i hope you guys whoever wins this really enjoys it and um the ones who win it you know i i i would love to see a video from you guys you know see how you done it but like i said you know this one sub is going to win this and another sub is going to win that and like i said the instructions are on back um i will tell you when you go to load this, you know, you have to put it together. You put your arm in there. This is the arm of it. It goes right there. Then you string it. Um, you want to have somebody hold hold this while you bend this. You don't want to bend it too much because you can, you know, warp it. But just bend it enough to get in there. I think it says use a tree branch or so, a tree or something like that. You don't want to do that. Just have somebody hold the gun and grab it from this end and this end, bend it, and slide them in. It's simple. It, you'll be surprised how um, hard that is to bend. But um, anyway, guys, that's what it is. Uh, get back to me. Like I said, if you want to register for the giveaway, just right below say, hey, I'm in. I'll write your name down and... Put it in a hat and we'll have the drawing. Again, I want to say thank you to you guys. You're the greatest. I really enjoy the conversations. I enjoy the comments. You know, thank you guys. You know, even to the ones out there who's been giving me the thumbs down, you're more than welcome to per participate in this um, this giveaway. And the ones who bash me, you know, you guys too, because you put a smile on my face as well. But anyway, guys, everybody be safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.